searching the internet can sometimes be very, very difficult because you can get many, many results and you don't know how to narrow them down. Well, did you know just by understanding a few search terms, you can narrow your results down for whatever you're looking for on the internet? So, for example, if I want to return a specific type of site, so I want to return a university or a government site, then I can type the word site followed by a colon and then the type of site I want. So site colon edu, no spaces, will return only edu sites. You can also look for a specific phase. So if I type in the words research paper, it's going to look for every website that has the word research and the word research and the word paper, it doesn't necessarily mean that those two words are next to each other. So in this instance, I would put the words research paper in quotations, and then it's only going to look for the sites that have the words research paper next to each other. Another way to narrow down your search is to exclude a word. So for example, if I typed in the words research paper minus internet, it would only return sites that have research paper but not internet. And then if I want sites that have multiple words, I can type research or paper, so I'll get the words, the sites with the word research or the word paper on. And I can type research and paper and that will return the sites with the words research and paper in them. So let's take a look at how this works. So let's take a look at how a Boolean search works. Now, I've picked Google as my search engine. You could use another search engine if you wanted to. It's the same regardless of the search engine you use. So let's do a search for Mexican food. And my first search returns 125 million results. Well, that's a little bit too much, so now what I'm going to do is put Mexican food in quotations. What that's going to do is look for websites that have the words Mexican food next to each other. Otherwise, you're searching a website that has the word Mexican and the word food in it, but not necessarily together. And now we're actually down to 28 million five hundred thousand results. So that's still a little bit much to look at. So let's look for Mexican food without the word restaurant. And now we've gone from 28 million to two million six hundred thousand results. That's still quite a lot of results. So let's have a look for any references to Mexican food on .gov sites. So we're going to put site colon gov. And we'll search now. And now we have 9,460 results. That's still a lot, but if I scroll down, you'll see that all of these sites are indeed .gov sites. So another way to narrow it down is to put a date in. So I come here and I say, show me any websites that have been updated in the past week with Mexican food that are .gov sites. So we have these .gov sites. Now we have only four results. Now, if you can't remember the Boolean search terms, there is another way to search. In a Google search, after you've put your search term in, you can click on settings and go to an advanced search. This is giving you the Boolean terms here, 
but you can actually just input the information here and it will produce the same kind of search and I can actually change languages, change regions, all of these additional features. I hope that's been useful in helping you to narrow down your search.